Hello, everybody. July 4th. Happy Independence Day to everyone. I hope you celebrated safely and had some good food, good vibes, good times with friends and family, and uh, get to see some decent fireworks tonight. I know that later today we are going to be going to my mom's for a uh, cookout with uh, friends and family now. It used to just, just be friends or family, but now it's going to be friends and family. So that's kind of cool. I'm experimenting and messing around a little bit with the um, settings of the camera. I turned off the background thing up here in the upper right hand corner because I noticed on the premiere I watched today that this got in the way quite a bit. So I'm just gonna turn that off. And then I moved the camera positioning down to the lower um, right hand corner and, and I'm not so sure how I like that I do have the studio lights on above me and I do have the green screen in behind me so I'm thinking maybe I want to go into the filters and take a gander at that and I've got it chroma key chroma keyed sharpened and luma keyed out and I'm gonna go look at chroma real quick opacity's at a at one if I bring that down, I'm digging in the ear issues all of a sudden. Somebody's talking about me. I guess if I bring that down, then that's not going to look good. So I'm going to go about right. One just doesn't look right. I'm going to go about right in there. Then I'm going to go look at the sharpen. And I was messing with this the other day and trying to. Clearly, I don't like that. Although, if I was going to do a cartoonish type thing, that would look pretty cool. But I want to get that down to about. I don't know right there looks pretty good and then the luma key is just exactly what it is it green it takes out the green screen so but clearly it's not taking it all out because i see some greenish going on when i move my hand so i'm going to see what that looks like go back over here and that doesn't look all that great so if i bring this up here that's a little bit better but now i'm not exactly off i can't put it in this corner because of the inspector uh, I think I'm going to leave it there for right now. So let's get on with today's um, whatever this is going to be. <laughs> it's going to be DaVinci. Uh, I'm going to move OBS out of the way. And I already have DaVinci started, but I don't have anything. I, I've got it started, but nothing's going on. So let's go get something going on. Marvin Gaye, everybody. Let's go to an untitled project. We go down here as soon as it opens on the wrong screen, which is really weird because it should open here. Go down to settings, change the frame rate to 30. And I believe that's about all I'm going to change. I think that's all I ever do change. Sounds about right. So there, we're good to go. Now, let's open up the media pool. First thing I want to do is go here, open up text. And we have the text. I'm just going to drag all this down. Go back to text. And this is going to be the Simpsons text right there. Grab the goofy text. Same thing. Uh, the essential title. And I'm kind of breezing through these. Now, this is not... I'm going to go ahead and arrow this over just to bring it up. So I think this will cover it. Let me bring down one more. Bring that over there as well. And an adjustment clip and put it on over this. All right. For now, that'll work. So I'm going to close this and discuss all this. First things first, the adjustment clip just makes an adjustment to whatever's underneath it. And I've beat that and killed, I've covered that enough that we, we know that that's good. Um, so pretty self-explanatory. If we get rid of the adjustment clip, it goes no adjustment with adjustment. So good. And I'm going to highlight that, get rid of it. This and this text are the same. One of them just got the correct date. One of them just has, oh, they, do, they both do because I guess it's based off of the... In fact, I know it's based off of the um, expression that I used when I did it. Cool. And it, I am in DaVinci. 
So now you're asking yourselves, why are these two like that? Well, I believe it's because if I were to extend this out, nope, that's not it. Now, the other day I was messing with this. Oh, there we go. The other day I was messing with this and I determined that if I play around with these a little bit, then it changes things up immensely, as you can see. So I'm not sure where the text went to. There's one. I know I thought I pretty sure I thought I had to. So if we change this back, then oh, I had essential and text. Brian Lightfoot asked the other day about when it was on this setting and they were way smaller than this. Could I adjust them and uh, winter mute the uh, subscriber and fellow DaVinci Resolve person, aficionado, expert, way better than I am, said, sure, you can do it with the sliders. So um, you can see there they are getting bigger. I, I really didn't pay much attention to it. So that's cool right there. Um, I wanted to cover, I'm going to go ahead and press Alt, drag, Alt, drag, Alt, drag. And I don't have the thing running to show you that I'm pressing that, which is the sword soft. Everyone knows about that. There's no sense beating that up either. What I wanted to experiment was if I highlight all these, Come up here to the media, or come up here to f edit and delete gaps. Will all of those gaps go away? And they do. Okay. So now I'm going to control Z, puts them all back. Cool. Um, what if I have, I'm going to press Alt and drag this up here. What if I have that and then do that? File. edit I need edit delete gaps it gets rid of it got rid of the gaps it actually does get rid of them if you if you go back to the original so there's this big gap between there and there but the gap is between the actual gap is you know I am gonna fire this up I wasn't going to but I actually am gonna fire this up maybe I don't know I don't know where it fired up at not on that screen is it on this screen? I just don't see it. Not on that screen. Monitor screen, whatever you want to call it. Is it on this one? Nope. Well, it could be on this one because this actually got several things open. So let's go see. It's not on that screen. So maybe it didn't fire up, although it shows that it fired up. Um, shows it's functional somewhere. Um, there we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the live draw. Move. Oh, I keep forgetting. <laughs> um, can't do that. Put that right there. So now I'm going to, I'm still going to leave the live draw on right here. I'm just going to move that off. And you'll see the line still there because I hit the arrow instead of the delete. If I hit the delete button, that goes away. So live draw is still active. I have the actual gap is actually right. Uh, live draw still on. So why is this not drawing? Um, all right, wants to play hardball today. So we're gonna live draw the actual gap. Seriously, I know I can do this. I just did it the other day. What the holy moly? Okay, live draw is on. Live draws on. Go back over here. Is it because um, this? Nope. Change the color. There we go. There we go. Seriously? All right. So get rid of that. So the actual gap is right here. This is the actual gap. And there's this gap. Then there's this gap. Then there's this gap make this look cool that's the actual gap then the next gap is right here so if I were to turn off the draw and highlight these go up here to edit I think you'll see and I have not practiced this I have not tried it I don't know what's gonna happen and I clearly don't like the 
camera where it's at right there because it's in the inspector. So I'm going to put it down here. That looks pretty cool. So back to here, edit, delete gaps. And as you can see, it did exactly what it should have done. These are the original position of the gaps right here. And once I hit delete gaps, it moved everything over and it is in the proper perspective. I didn't explain that too well the other day, which was actually earlier today. And I wanted to kind of cover that. So we're going to get rid of all that. And we're going to turn off the live draw and we're going to control Z. That's to that. So it works great with text. Let's try it with photos. Now, um, I'll come, I'll, I'll go over that in a minute. So we're going to grab Alex's photo and we're going to grab, uh, this one here. And then, um, go to the master. And I don't see anything in there. I should be able to have that. There we go. I'm going to grab photo mix media and um, me. Grab me. All right. That should be enough to see if this will work for this experiment. So I'm going to grab all of these. I don't want them included in this. Get them out of the way. I'm going to highlight. All of these, edit, delete gaps, and it did delete two of the three gaps. It did not delete the gap that I was thinking it would delete. And once again, I've lost the live draw. I thought I had these hotkeyed. And I probably do have them hotkeyed. I just don't remember what it is. Um, was it F1? I think it's F1. Yeah, it's F1. So this gap and this gap went away. This gap right here does not go away. When I highlight, edit, delete gaps. That's interesting. And I think that's because this picture is not what I would define as true, as a true standalone or by itself picture. I think it's part of the bigger, I think it's part of all of these that I brought in. So therefore it's not gonna work. That's what I think. I can't prove that yet, but I'm working on it. So I'm gonna leave this over here because it's out of the way and I can use it. So what do I want to do? Well, let's get rid of that. Don't need those. And since it was all highlighted, it's gone. And then let's close the media pool and get rid of that. Don't need those. We know that works. Go back to the media pool. Uh, you noticed the other day I did make uh, a, uh, there's the text. If I go back to master and just click on master, then there's the rest. There's, there's music here. And I can bring it down and it's there. And then I'm going to get rid of it. Down here under collections, there's a music. And when I open it, it's supposed to be there because it was the other day. Great. Now it's not there. Let's drag it up here. No. That's, that's just good thing this is working out. I am so glad that this works for me when I'm not in front of the camera. But when I get in front of the camera, it doesn't work. So, okay. Uh, wants to play hardball, does it? Fine. I'm going to grab the music. I'm going to bring it down here. And I'm going to put it in there. And then I'm going to uh, make sure the mic's working. Looks like it is. Let me, yeah, make sure it shows. Okay, so I'm going to open this up. I'm going to drag this into here. And I can't do that. Why can't I do that? It's a smart man. I should be able to should be in doing two different things. So let's go back to the master, open that up. Don't see anything in there. Let's close that. Right click in here. I want to create a new bin, new bin. And in this new bin, oh, that's under text. 
Okay, uh, I don't want that. So let's backspace out of all that and go back over here, down here, and then it should show up up here as, as being text, but I'm going to close this. Now I'm going to right click. Now I'm going to create a new bin. I, I'm, I'm thinking it's putting it under there. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this as soundtracks enter. And then I'm going to drag this into there. I'm going to open that and there it is. Now I'm going to right click and see if i can rename it um i don't see rename anywhere i see everything but rename so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete it from here and then i'm going to bring it down here i know i can right click and rename it in here at least i thought i could maybe i can't i was thinking i could copy remove ripple normalize okay Try F2. Nope, F2 doesn't work either. Interesting. I thought for sure I could rename some of this stuff. Because if I click on this and press F2, guess I can't do that either. And, okay, let's close that. Let's go F2. F2 is not showing up anywhere. Eh, forget that. That's not going to work. Right click, new compound, render in place, copy, cut, ripple, delete, open, infusion, change, render. Nope. I'll have to research that because that should work unless it's because it's uh let's try this. Let's go to titles, let's bring in a text plus, let's just put in this is text, change the color to some horrible color, okay. Right click. I still don't see rename anywhere, but I know can't rename it there but I'll bet you if I come over here to fusion and I get rid of this like that I can right click this and rename it here or I can hit F2 and rename it so apparently the rename tool only works in fusion if that's the case that is nonsense you ought to be able to rename these things while you're still over in the edit page um be right back okay i'm back we had a couple things that had to be discussed with mrs k and i kind of lost track of where i was at oh we were talking about renaming yeah i don't understand this should be able to be renamed in here Render color enable. Maybe if you disable the clip, I don't know. Um, let's move on. So we'll get rid of that. What I want to do now is I really want to go to the media pool and I want to go to the master and I want to bring in two pictures, two pictures only. I don't want to highlight. I want to go to edit and delete the gaps. And that worked. Now what I want to do is I want to reverse them and delete the gaps. And it works. So that my theory of that being part of a bigger thing is not accurate. Um, what if can you alt drag and then do it this way? and delete the gaps i'm going to get with render mute he said i can hotkey this you can all right so cool um i have no idea how to hotkey stuff in davinci probably can be done i don't know so that's good let's get rid of that don't need it uh what else did i screw up on earlier yesterday i don't really remember um I go over there, that's there. I go over there, that's there. Now, clearly, this is not right. And, and I'll clean it up. Um, this has got pictures as well as text in it. 
because I was just experimenting with moving stuff over there. I did get this music one to show up under here before, and I'm not sure why it's not showing up now. Um, to me, this is this should be individually listed, and then. Yeah, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to delete this. I don't think there's anything in it. Well, let's see if there's anything in it. There's not. So I'm going to delete that by going, does Control Z take me back? It does not. Control Z affects everything over here. That's cool. So go back over here to text, right click, remove bin. You can rename the bin. And then uh, since it's text, I don't need this. <laughs> or this or this someone just commented on my facebook thing so now that's strictly text if i go over here um i'm gonna go ahead and right click new bin rename the bin and this is gonna be called photos enter and i'm gonna come down here and I'm going to make sure I don't see the word timeline in here, and I don't. So I'm going to highlight the top one. I'm going to highlight the bottom one. And I'm going to move them all into photos. So now if I go to the master up here, I got my current project that's got all that data in there. And then if I open up text, I got my text. Soundtracks, I got A music soundtrack. And photos, I've got that. This is going to be great. This seriously is going to be such a, it, it, because here's what it's going to do. Instead of going right click, go to media, go figure out where it's at. Oh, it's over in, it's over on my D drive. It's in DaVinci. It's in data. Okay. Where is it at in data? Well, it's in homies photos. No, nope, there's nothing there. Well, then maybe it's down in um, test of the day. Nope. There's nothing there. So why suddenly is this not showing up? Go here, go here. There's nothing there. Uh, maybe because it's looking for an XML file. I don't know. Uh, again, it works before. It doesn't work now. So I don't know why that's doing that. I really don't. I'm going to go back to master. I'm going to right click, go to media. It's finding, oh, it's on OBS. I don't want it on OBS. Oh, actually, you know what? I don't have it. <coughs> These are all recordings. I don't want any recordings. I want to go back over to D Drive. I want to go into DaVinci. I want to go to Data. And there we go. I, that's crazy. So, again, let's just say it's under Homies Photos. And... Let's just say I wanted a spaceship. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the spaceship and open it up. And that didn't find it. Why didn't that find that? Well, let's go back and see. I know why, but I'm going to explain it. Um, I think it's this. Did I grab that one? I grabbed that one. So we're going to go grab the other one. This one right here. And that one should show up. And it does. I'm not sure why this one doesn't show up except for that there's something I'm not catching over here and I had to re-render it and it worked just fine so this really not working out get rid of it I don't need it I'll cancel this this really not working out I'll get rid of it um, sure I will um, I'll get rid of it by doing that and I can bring this down Again, mess with the adjustment clips and play it, and that's that. So cool, such a time, and that's that's what it's going to be. That's why it's going to be such a time saver. Now, I don't know if effect. No, I got to be able to figure out how to use these smart bins. I really do. Um, go back to master. Video collections, video clips. Uh, okay, there we go. Audio only. It's actually under audio only. This is here. If I get rid of this, 
and it's under I thought it was under music it's under audio bring this down here and it's there so the, the so the smart bins are working I'm just gonna have to mess around with them again I'm I'm still learning some of this stuff effect what if I brought the adjustment click into here is that now under effects or not I don't think it is so interesting do I need no surely to goodness I don't have because it automatically put the audio in their audio and then audio's got something Video's got nothing, dialogue's got nothing, music effect, uncategorized, subcategorized. Yeah, that's interesting. All right, I uh, didn't pay any attention to the time. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. But you can see I'm slowly but surely messing around learning this stuff. Um, and it is a lot of fun. I really do enjoy sharing it with people. Uh, just really. Now, if I take this adjustment clip and I bring it out to here and then go back and play this I'm going to turn that volume down because I know it's super loud so we're just going to bring it down to about there and uh, we hit play Still loud, even at lowering it, so I'm going to lower it some more. And it does, it does what it's supposed to do. Now, if you wanted to, and that looks pretty cool, I actually think that looks neat. So if I wanted to change this, I just highlight it, go to the inspector, and then change all my settings, or I can delete it. If I wanted to add to it, I just go to effects, go down to effects, and let's see, can we add, let's add a color border and put that in there, and we get the color border, and then my binoculars, I'll turn that off so I just see the border, no, nope, I want to see the border, so I'm going to come down here to colored border, I'm going to double click it so that it opens, I'm going to change the color, and I'm going to make it orange I like orange that's pretty neat you could just put let's add the digital glitch in there oh now the UFOs doesn't know what it's doing so now I got to go down here and open up the digital now I think you can double single click that double click that and it opens up the glitch width pretty cool so let's say I don't want the glitch. Let's say, ah, that looked good. Go to this, go to the trash can, click it, and it's gone. Uh, essential Polaroid frame. What's the difference? Oh, there you go. So let's put that in there. And then go scroll down here. So we're going to, it automatically defaults to there. Let's open this one up and let's put in here um, data dot 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 question mark space question mark and then I don't think you can move it around you can change the font I mean all this is basic stuff you guys know all this so I will wrap this up I could sit here and practically do this all day long and the cool thing is is I'm learning it on my own now and if I get stumped on something I will not hesitate to go to YouTube and look it up so if I just wanted this effect over here I would grab the end and reduce it down and grab the end and reduce it down and then when we play it go back a couple frames here when it plays music still super loud to me but then we get that now I wonder so I'm gonna I'm gonna wonder this and then I'm gonna go seriously I wonder, can we determine the order of which the effects are? If this was the first, this was the second, this is the third, can we move these up in the order? And it looks like, so if I turn this off and turn that off, can I move this? Oh, you know what? I bet you can. 
So here we go. I'm going to turn these back on. I'll bet you if I hit this down button, colored border takes precedent. If I go to this button and hit down, then that takes, so that, I'm liking this. I am liking this. I'm going to go back to the colored border. I want it to be, I want it to be shown. So how do I do that? But you know what? Don't want to play game. You don't want to play. I'm going to get rid of it. Um, so there's our Polaroid and we can change the frame, make it bigger or whatever. <laughs> I could do this all day. Thanks everyone. Have a great 4th of July. Uh, just like Doug, I'll do a premiere. Doug did have a show today. He said yesterday he would have a show and then, um, uh, I'll be playing golf. That's why I'm doing a premiere. And then we're going to be at mom's around 3 34 o'clock this afternoon. Everybody be safe. Everybody enjoy the uh, independence of our country. And I'll see everyone tonight at nine o'clock because we're not doing fireworks. Thank you. Which button is it that I'm supposed to hit? I need to put that on the screen deck. I'll be so much smarter. Oops, I hit the pause button, not the stop button. <laughs> I'm such a Doug Betts at times. <laughs> I guess I should start saying I'm such a Ken Stout at times. <laughs> Bye, everybody.